It is Thursday, October 12th, I think. I think so. And uh, California is still on fire. Um, which is no joking matter. And uh, although I don't live super close to the fires, there is so much fire going on right now in California uh, that even down in the San Jose area where I live, we have um, a lot of air quality alerts and air quality warnings. And you can smell the fire outside. So I may, I'm making sure I take my medicine. I'm not going out unless I have to. And my heart just breaks for all of those people who not only lost everything, but the family members who lost loved ones. It's just been horrible. In this case, compared to years past, because let's be real, I live in California. We have fires and earthquakes all the time. Um, it's usually wildfires, you know, out in the forested areas. They sometimes get close to or into a town and, a, and some homes burn. And it's always devastating. But in this time, it's an urban wildfire. And whole cities have just been wiped off the map. It's just completely devastated so many people. So anyway, it's horrible. But I had to go out and run errands today, so I had a couple things I had to do. So I am out doing them, and I've got my medication with me, and I've got a mask with me if I need it. So we're all good. But it's very hazy outside, and it smells like burning wood. And it's not great. So anyway, I'm going to go run my errands and then we'll be back. Okay, so making sure there's nobody in here. We're in the restroom of the place where I go to get my hair done. And uh, first of all, we were shooting for dark with silver and we didn't get that, but how pretty is this color that we did get? And really quick, look at this fancy bathroom with proper stalls with big doors on them. <laughs> it just was shocking to me. It's just so pretty. Anyway, all right, that's it. I'm going to go try to run a couple more errands and then I'll be back. In Staples looking around I actually need something specific but how cool were those things that I just found in the front of the store and on clearance don't forget to check the clearance bins and the sale bins a plain one subject notebook for an upcoming video project and the cheapest one possible I see one right dollar 49 that works I probably won't get anything besides the notebook but you never know what you're gonna see back here for storage. We've got them on clearance. It's probably the time to get one. Okay, so as you saw, I was in Staples. It is Friday, October 13th. Yes, Friday the 13th. Um, and um, I'll adjust the volume on some of these clips so that you can hear me because I was kind of whispering in Staples. I'm pretty sure they don't like it when you film in there. Um, but they had some interesting things on clearance. If I needed them, I would have got them. There were some interesting things there. I didn't need them. So I literally only bought the one notebook I went in for. I know, right? Shocking. Um, next door to Staples, we have a Ross Dress for Less, which is a discount like department store, for those of you who don't know. And uh, I went in there, well, there were some interesting things. Again, didn't see anything I needed and couldn't live without. So, you know, I was just kind of getting steps in, that's all. So now I'm gonna go pick up the mail and uh, then head home for lunch. That's it for right now, I'll be back home after getting the mail and my notebook. I can have some lunch now and maybe do a little work over there. <laughs> I actually have an idea for this page and instead of, I have a particular pair of images I wanna use and instead of redrawing them, because uh, I know I've done it once already and saved it. It was part of Crazy Island University and journaling Crazy Island style. So 
I have to think if I can, after lunch, find them on the computer. I'll just reprint them and collage them on. It might be easier. All right. And I also, you know, went outside to do all this stuff, and we're still having air quality issues because of the fires here in California. And I came home, and I'm a little bit raspy and <clears throat> want to cough a lot, so I need to stay in the house for a little bit. Yep. I'll be back. So we're at Harry's Hofbrau in, I think it's technically Santa Clara, it might be San Jose. Anyway, we're out to dinner. They're having Oktoberfest, so yum. Just, you know, it's a German place, meat and potatoes, so it's all good. All right, I'll be back. Hey everybody, it is Saturday, October 14th. It's about just about 12:30, and I've been up since the crack of dawn this morning because I couldn't sleep but I got a bunch of business share things posts done on social media my daily thoughts done early if not on time a bunch of stuff over in my year 2017 done um, I got an art journal page done that's drying I'll share it with y'all in a bit and um, I'm here watching an episode of Border Wars. I know. I don't know why I have a fascination with it, but I do. So anyway, I am just relaxing and I've done my Inktober sketch for today. And I will share that with you in a bit too. I thought it's pretty cute. The prompt for today is fierce. So, and I also shared some thoughts on Inktober on my blog on my website and also in my email newsletter this morning and um, I'll put links to all this stuff you know as usual in the description um, so you guys can see it um, and I hope you join me on my journey because it's gonna be fun and uh, that's it for right now I'll be back okay guys here is the promised Inktober page in my sketchbook that I'm doing for the sketchbook project which I'll include the link for it and our Inktober in the description below, along with my blog post about both of these. So anyway, and that there's yesterday's. It's turning out super cute. So I'm going to um, go into the art room and we'll show you the art journal page I did this Here's morning. the journal page. Didn't it turn out cute? It was super easy. Some paint on the background. These pieces were sent to me in Happy Mail. I had this little card with a quote on it, a little bit of messy journaling with my favorite journaling pen, a plain old Bic Crystal pen. Works great on almost all surfaces. A little bit of stenciling and a magazine picture. And that's all. And I just love the way it turned out. Isn't it cool? And the quote says, you must learn a new way to think before you can master a new way to be. Isn't that the truth? All right, that's it for right now. I'll be back. Oh, you talk, come on, you're taking my picture. What, taking... Kind, what kind of dessert are you going to get? This is desert? Yeah. I don't know yet. You don't know I have yet? to figure that out. Yeah, Hey guys, it's Sunday afternoon. It's just before three, uh, October fifteenth, and we're just at home today, getting things done. You know, doing minor things around the house. The husband's right now going around the house, removing screens and washing windows. We have one screen that we're gonna, I think, take over and drop off to get repaired this afternoon because that's got to be done and you know the normal dishes laundry um, I did go slap some paint on a page so and I may continue to work on it as the day goes on we'll see I still have to do Inktober for today which I haven't done yet and um, I'm just watching uh, on my iPad see there uh, Border Wars I'm wearing my new essential oil necklace that I got it's like a locket and inside there's a little piece of felt that you can put a couple drops of oil on and um, I got a fabric mask in to wear for days when 
You know, I'm in an environment that is aggravating my asthma. Uh, right now, that's like the whole state of California because everything's on fire, but y'all know what I mean. Um, it's not the most attractive thing. I did get a couple of, you know, brightly colored cotton ones because if I've got to wear it, then, you know, it might as well be interesting looking. Uh... I think that's it for right now. It's kind of a quiet Sunday. We haven't done much this weekend other than go out on Friday night for dinner to Harry's Hofbrau, which if you're watching this clip, you've already seen that footage. Um, yeah, we're really, there's nothing really much going on. I'm meeting again with one of my former Michael students tomorrow morning at her house uh, to uh, continue to work on and coach her on some art stuff. And uh, after that, I might run a few errands but no, again nothing super exciting right now kind of a quiet week and uh that's it for right now though i'll be back <laughs>
um, you know, his die cuts, his cutouts, they had a butterfly um, and bug pack. So I got that. I don't have that one. Something else I really like using rather than fussy cutting out butterflies all the time, which drives me crazy. And um, I got some um, clips from their $2 bin. They have, they have $2 bins. Anyway, they had uh, paper clips with tassels on top and paper clips with pom-poms on top. So I got one of each. Those will be really cute in my um, little junky mixed media journals that I'm working on. Uh, everything really is for projects that I'm working on. I just kept seeing things that, ooh, that would be good. Ooh, that would be good. So I know you all have been there. I try to really curb that most days. So now we're gonna head over to, since we're down here and I wanna go to Target rather than driving all the way home, I'm going to go to the Target that's down here in Morgan Hill. I need to get a couple things. And then we'll go get a sandwich and go home. We're in the back of my car in the Target parking lot, but here are the clips that I said I got. These are the ones that I showed you on the clips um, where I was in the store. These are really cute. And then I got these ones too. My two packs of feathers. These are the big chat stickers. So they're much bigger than the regular. So cool. So I got a pad of those. These are the, what is this called? Layers. But this is his botanical layers. Little, little like die cuts set. And these are the metallic paints. They're by model format model making and they're by Vallejo but they're an acrylic paint and I've gotten a few colors of them before and they're really fabulous so they have flat regular colors but I like the metallics so anyway I used a coupon let's go into Michael's I mean Target now and see what we can find October 17th, pretty sure. Um, as you saw a second ago, I just, I've got my steps in for the day. I'm really trying hard to do at least six days a week. Now, I do have asthma. Let's straighten up the phone before it falls out of the thing. There we go. Um, I do have asthma, so uh, I, some weeks are better than others and with all the fires going on in California even though they're not super close to me um, the air quality over the whole, whole state is not great and we do have a new one that I heard about in the Santa Cruz area which is closer to me than the other ones um, I haven't looked into it yet so I hope it's um, not too bad I don't, I don't know I heard about it late last night and we are out now to go run some errands. I'd really like a couple of days at home where I don't have to do anything but get the mail. So I'm going to go run the few errands I need to today. I need to go to a grocery store across town to get a particular food item that I like that they're always out of at the store by me. I need to get go to the office supply store. I have a project in mind and I need to go to the bank to deposit a check. So yeah, all those things. <laughs> I'll need to do a journal page today when I get back and I wanna experiment with the project that I have in mind. 
um, and I have to scan some artwork for the Etsy shop. So, I'll, and all of it pretty much, except for the journal page, has to do with the Etsy shop. So, I've got to work on that. And in case you all didn't know, my Etsy shop is the whole the whole shop is on sale, twenty five percent off everything in the shop. So, if you've been waiting for stamps or stencils or artwork or anything else, now is the time. I made a wrong turn. Oops. For those that don't know, I get lost a lot. I wish you all could see how hazy it still is outside. And gross. Well, I don't know if that's going to show up on camera or not. Hey guys, how are you today? So, I got up this morning and I've had my workout. What time is it? It's 10.20. Um, and I am just kind of lazing around and cooling off post-workout. I haven't really done much else, to be honest. But I woke up to my Etsy shop kind of going crazy, so I have a number of orders to fill. Wahoo! Yay! Finally. Um, let's hope that momentum keeps up. I guess putting it, everything on sale was a good idea. Um, and FYI, everything is on sale. You don't need a coupon code, and it's on sale until Halloween. So, the link for the Etsy store is in the description if you want to go shopping. I have a number of things here on my desk that I need to list, um, which I haven't done yet. <laughs> um, some of which I just finished last night. So, I made these little um, sketchbooks out of 70 pound drawing paper, and then the cover is um, actually a file folder printed, cut to fit in my printer, and then printed with some of my artwork. Um, on some of the signatures, um, the paper was from a spiral bound notebook. So on some of the signatures I left, you know, I just left that top. I unwound the paper, took the, the, the spiral binding off. So it's not torn or anything, but the holes are there. I just left them cause I don't know about you guys, but the holes don't bother me. So I'll be putting pictures and everything and hopefully getting these listed in the Etsy shop today. Um, they're pretty cute. I'll be filming a tutorial too for those of you who can't afford to buy them or, um, or don't want to. And they're super easy. No sewing. I used a stapler. So <laughs> you could take the staples out and stitch them when you buy, if you buy one and you choose to do that, that's, you could do that. Um, but they're just little sketchbooks. So anyway, um, I also got it. At, there was some sort of Apple antitrust settlement with Amazon ebook thing. I don't know. I do read a lot. I have a Kindle. I've had one for years. I've been buying ebooks for ye years and years and years since before there was Kindles. I've been buying PDF ebooks. And I woke up to a large credit in my Amazon account. <laughs> so, okay, that's good. I can use it through April 2018. It won't last that long. Um, so, yeah, there's a couple things I've been wanting but I haven't bought for myself yet. So, I bought them this morning and the rest of it will just sit there for when I want a book or I need to order coffee or something. So it's been an interesting morning. So I'm going to go grab some product from the uh, stash of inventory in the garage and get the orders wrapped up. And then I guess I should probably take a shower and actually put regular clothes on and not workout clothes. Yeah. And then I have artwork to scan still because I haven't done it yet. And besides putting the little sketchbooks in the Etsy store, I have to scan some artwork <laughs> and put that in the store too. So I got stuff to do. All right, that's it for right now. I'll be back. Okay, I whittled away a big bunch of this afternoon working on some Etsy listings. And you know, I just had <laughs> some fumbling crazy errors with getting the digital scans done and formatted correctly for Etsy and it wasn't the listings that were the issue. I had a bunch of stuff I had to scan, then I had to scan it at a high enough resolution to be interesting but not so high that it's too big for Etsy and then I had <laughs> and then I had to make a thumbnail and then I had to make sure that when I made the thumbnail it didn't overwrite the original file like you can see where this is going right so it's done now now I can go get my mail and mail my Etsy sh um, shipments out yeah so anyway I'll be back hey guys 
So it has been a weird, crazy, long day, as you've seen, and an interesting week. <sighs> I did manage to get an art journal page done today. And I did some more reorganizing in here. Now that I've gotten rid of some things, I'm moving stuff around, so hopefully it's easier to find. I ordered a few of these. Oh, let's see if I can show you easily. See this five drawer? Oops, right, that. Not the stencils. <laughs> this five drawer little thing, plastic mini drawer thing here by Sterilite. I'll try to remember to put a link for it in the description below. They're kind of hard to find, but of course, you know, the easy thing is to just go to Amazon. I've said it before in conversations and probably here on the vlog that it's hard for me to go out in some, re some cases because there's something always that my asthma will react to. So it's not that I don't ever go out, I do, but I just limit the times that I do to something that I really wanna do that's gonna be fun. Um, shopping around for a particular thing like these drawers and like not finding them, that's not fun. <laughs> I'd rather just order them. So you can get them on Amazon, you can buy one or like a case of four. And they're really nice to be able to organize all your little parts in your art room and have them sort of put away and you'll notice like unclutter your table look at my table <laughs> um but yet they're still right there and you can get them so that's just fabulous so i've spent some time today doing that and you know it's a constant thing in your art room in your creative space where you're cleaning and purging and reorganizing and it's a never-ending cycle because as soon as you think you have it I said this earlier to somebody, um, as soon as you think you have it down pat, then you buy something new or acquire a new supply and then you got to start all over again. Um, I spent some time this afternoon helping out on a live broadcast with Wendy Mason and her friend Roz. That was a lot of fun. I haven't actually been live on camera in a while, so that was, you know, spur of the moment kind of thing. So that was fun. Um, but yeah, it's been a fun week. It's been a pretty good day. Um, yeah, it's just, you know, it's, I don't know. It's, I'm glad it's the end of the day. I've done my Inktober drawing. I did the journal page. I have to share on social media yet, but I will. Uh, I think that's it for right now. I, um, I, you know, it's, yeah, it's been a weird week. I'm blaming it on the eclipse because since we had the eclipse, my, I just feel off. Does that make sense to everybody? Or is it just me? Uh, I have a friend who had brain surgery this week. Uh, she went in for a checkup, found out she had a brain tumor. I don't know how that happens, but uh, she made it through. She looks like she's going to um, make it through the surgery, and she's already up and walking around. It's only been a couple of days, so, you know, more power to her. I hope uh, that she makes it through all the treatments going forward she's going to have to have, and yeah. So anyway, send some good energy out there. I know you, I'm not going to mention names, but um, just send some good energy out there to people like her who are sick and ailing right now because I think they need it. All right, that's it, everybody. Have a great week. Uh, great week. <laughs> a great week. Um, don't forget to try to get your steps in. Eat right and um, do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Maybe make some art. All right, that's it for right now. I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys.